Hello viewers, well you've seen MotoGP 2017, you've seen Dirt 4, but now it's time for the big one. It's Mike Machines World Series, and here we have our first preview here today. And I'm joined here today by Kevin. Hi guys. And so we're just going to be having a little look at some of the multiplayer action, some of the stuff you can look forward to. Now, Mike Machines was, you know, released in the 90s. Uh, really, very popular on the Sega Mega Drive at the time and at the time of course it was I believe it was the first game to include controller ports in the actual cartridge I've got one of those as well sitting here somewhere with loads of fun for four-player gaming for most of us it was the only four-player gaming we had done at that point uh, and it was it was great it also included an eight-player mode as well really you could have two people yep two people on each controller so you'd have to share a controller with your friend. <laughs> I don't know how that worked. We never got eight people together to try it. No. And the, the idea of it, I think we all thought it sounded a bit naff. So we uh, we decided to just stick with a four player, but it was a game that sort of appealed to everybody at the time, you know, guys and girls at the time. It wasn't just, uh, you know, it was, a, it was a game that really appealed to everybody uh, and got more people involved perhaps that wouldn't play games otherwise. So, most, uh, so the uh, Micro Machines is a, uh, it's a big brand for that time and it was good to hear it coming back i mean obviously we've had a, a version released in the on the ps1 uh, yep v3 which at the time i remember being very difficult at the time it was rating you know I, I found it yeah it, it was the game that i put most time in uh, v3 on the ps1 and you know it had a good uh, variety of environments and, and vehicles so many vehicles you know you collect tons and tons of vehicles you could level them up but you, you could get so far in that game, you just seem to hit a brick wall in terms of difficulty. Um, it was incredibly difficult once you get to a certain level. And, you know, only the real hardcore fans would be able to really sort of get beyond that level and, and complete the game. And I certainly wasn't one of those, uh, I hasten to add. But, uh, you know, it's interesting seeing all the games, how they're evolving. You know, they seem to change from game to game. We've seen, you know, the original didn't have any power-ups and they introduced power-ups, they introduced all these new modes. It seems like every single iteration has something fresh about it, so it's good to see. Yeah, I mean, when I go back to the original game, you know, I remember one of the big things about it at the time was uh, Violet Berlin, who uh, presented Bad Influence, which was a TV show in the 90s. She was in the game, and we had all these different characters, which are seemingly have returned in this game as well. So you actually yeah. see the same characters and they're sort of retro guys, which is nice. Of course, the original game didn't have any weapons, but we're introducing weapons in this one. And what you're looking at here is actually battle mode. So I'll, I'll talk us through that a little bit. First thing is obviously the title, Micro Machines World Series. No idea why it's called World Series <laughs> because it's not a, a global related thing. You know, it's the world of your house, I guess. Uh, it seems to be an unusual title. Um, so what are we looking at here? Well, I'm the green one who's not killed anybody. I'm up against the developers here and they were destroying me, basically. Uh, I didn't really know what I was doing. So each that I learned by the end of it obviously but each uh, so each vehicle has three three weapons basically it's got a core offensive weapon uh, a defensive uh, weapon and something for a sort of close proximity a quite devastating attack you've got to keep your eye out for health which appears now and again uh, so obviously you know you can see there the fire engine was chasing the yellow guy the blue chasing the yellow guy um, he's trying to kill him off uh, and, and then he gets some life and oh goodness me it's just mayhem isn't it trying to uh, keep up with everybody so quite often someone will see that you're nearly dead everybody chases the nearly dead guy i'll point oh, that yes, out as well yes. because it's an easy kill and there's a lot of stealing kills from everybody uh, so this was a really nice addition uh, yeah. we, we had two two sort of sessions we had a one session which was four guys in front of one tv and then we had a, another session which was on a land to test some of the other modes that are in the game uh, such as the capture the flag and the uh, king of the hill which we'll take a look at later i'm the tank here the green one so i'm just trying to get the hang of it but i only know one weapon i didn't know at this stage how to use deploy my other weapons effectively and that guy with the laser I get, cannon I, I guess they weren't so keen on telling you either because they wanted to win i i assume no it, it's funny how competitive this got and you'll see in the race we go to the more traditional race in just a moment it starts off all fun everyone having a laugh and then the talking sort of stops halfway <laughs> and everybody starts to As get a bit does. serious yeah uh, well, way, isn't it yeah, the Codemasters guys clearly knew their vehicles inside out. I mean, I had no chance. And, uh, they sort of wanted to share how the game worked, but sort of wanted to destroy me as well. Mm. The other interesting thing was on the uh, player select screen, how 
they would wait until the last second and then all suddenly change because it's very much all rock paper scissors you know it's um yeah one you know, there is yeah. yeah there's one that destroys every other one so they want to know what you're going to be using before you select it basically and so there was a lot of mucking around and gamesmanship going on all that lightning's killing me there so i'm going to try getting the life at the bottom that's it uh really don't want to get oh, he's trying to knock me into the lightning because it kills me off i'm like oh god and then it <laughs> takes me so long to turn around yeah i mean talking and turning around i mean does each vehicle handle differently it's they've Completely. only gone with 12 vehicles this time around so they've, yeah. sort of, they've they've limited the amount of vehicles but it feels like they've got They've all, they've all got their own real personality. They perhaps all handle differently. Is that correct? And they've That's got right. Yeah, I mean, they've all got very different weapons, very different handling uh, for the different modes. So you need to pick in various different modes the vehicle that suits your style and approach. They've all got pros and cons in that sense. Yeah. There are only 12 vehicles. I, I think on the face of it, it's not many. But having said that, they're so varied mm. that they've gone for a really sort of... And they've gone for a lot of detail. I mean, if you look here at the yes. character select screen, there's... A lot of detail there, really nicely detailed models. So in terms of in this nice depth of field, here we are going into the racing now. So this is the more, so we've seen a bit of battle mode kick off, but now we're into the sort of more traditional racing. Uh, I'm the police car, the green one there. Again, didn't know the circuit. These guys all knew what they were doing, but I, uh, I just said, well, I've got to try and stay as close as I can, but I don't want to be too far up the front because, you know, the person in the lead, doesn't have a great view of where they're going. So you need someone to lead who actually knows the circuit. Now, do you see that, that, that aimer on the screen, the blue one? That's yep. when somebody falls off the track, where in the past you had nothing to do until the race ended. Now you can target your nearest rival uh, with a missile attack. So there we go, I won there, somebody got targeted and boom. Uh, and of course you can see at the top there, the four colored bars, yes. uh, they represent like who's closest to winning yeah. the match. So, I it's won that best at the moment. Yep. It's interesting seeing the target because that was what you saw in a Blitz Racers, which was a little known indie game. Uh, you know, once you've been eliminated essentially from the round, you were given a missile which you could target onto whoever was leading the race. There was a little bit of sort of tactical uh, espionage going on there. So it's interesting to see they brought that feature into Micro Machines. And so I'm looking at these environments and they look, they just look absolutely stunning. The detail is incredible. Yeah, really nice detail. I think there was a little handheld game console just that we passed earlier, and it was actually playing an old version of Micro Machines on it. Uh, and there's another map, the one with Hungry Hippos, where you, I think there's um, lots of old sort of Codemasters games from the 80s sort of lying around and stuff. You know, lots of real brands and details that are lying yeah. everywhere. Yeah, awesome. You know, really great. I mean, they've gone for, they've definitely gone for quality rather than quantity. Yes. And I think. That's no bad thing. I think, you know, having six different cars that all handle the same way for the sake of it is doesn't really make, doesn't doesn't really work here. You know, you need to have the individuality of each little toy uh, yeah. and then captured that. So, yeah, seeing these guys compete was, was, you know, like you say, it starts off all good fun, everyone's laughing, and as this goes on, it got, it's a shame there wasn't a camera on us playing because uh, it, it's, it's always funny when you see that kind of it seems like this mode here we're seeing now they've actually they've done away with the unique weapon set haven't they and they've, they've given you uh, a predetermined sort of selection of weapons or mario yeah. kart style where you, you go into the crates so they're mixing things up in different modes which is always good to see yeah. you know, they haven't just stuck with one thing for the entirety of the game they do sort of introduce different elements to whichever sort of game mode you're playing and you know it looks like it could be the ultimate online uh, game for a bit of fun yeah, I was just looking there, seeing yellow all the way up there, going to win. Goodness me! Uh, so now we, now you see yellow's close to winning. Uh, everybody's going to target yellow to, to just take him out. That's basically how it happens. Uh, so it's quite, it's quite funny how that works. Um, yeah, but we've also got. We should also note we've got Brian Blessed doing the voice uh, yes. over for the game, which uh, his massive tones there yes. and there's, there's me winning another one just about I and mean, it's more luck than judgment actually it's more about the pressure under racing uh, he was mentioning obliteracers uh, and that's a good point you know they've they've definitely looked at other racing games in the genre yeah uh, discussion there at the time that's very similar to a game called mashed on the ps2 mm -hmm. uh, and if you mashed it's very similar mashed was good fun it's very similar to that as well so yeah, they've certainly looked at the best of the genre. I think also when you go through the Micro Machines games, you know, you had Micro Machines 1, which was okay, but 2 really kicked it off. 
three was also massive on the on the PS1, but then four wasn't as good, you know. No. So, uh, you know, I, I think they've needed to. I'm glad they've put some time and some thought into yes. developing every aspect yes. of it. Uh, so yeah, all the vehicles obviously handling very differently here. It's not not as easy as it looks controlling all these various different cars, especially when you're trying to dodge the weapons of the person in front. I've got a gun here. I think I'm going to try shooting this guy. There we are, letting off a few rounds. Oh, nice. I just felt it just felt dirty, but good at the same time. You know, the guy has no chance of getting out of your way. Uh, yeah, it looks like they've got the yeah. Like you know, there's a typical range. A take out at the beginning there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I saw Sorry. that. Yeah, that's a bit dirty, wasn't it? Yeah. So you've got a typical uh, micro machine style environment, haven't you? You've got the kitchen stuff, you've got the yeah. kids' room, uh, you've got that's all right, that sort yeah. of good stuff. So it's all returning. But uh, I guess one downside, if you view it as a downside, it doesn't look like there's going to be any on water levels. No, they haven't shown anything like that yet. I mean, it'd be nice to see some of that return. Uh, yeah. You know, I don't know what the retail price of the game is going to be yet. It's not going to be a full price game. Uh, no. It's definitely going to be a reduced price, uh, and I think in many respects it's a case of seeing how well it does. Mm. You know, they've they've put they've said you know like you say quality over quantity, uh, and if it does well, then obviously you'll probably see future iterations which will go back yeah. to including that. It's one of those situations where they want to keep their powder dry and save some stuff for future titles. At the same time, uh, it's seeing what works. Now, some of you might be watching and saying, "Oh, but I don't want weapons in this mode." Don't worry, you can play this mode without weapons as well. Yep. That's right, the uh, traditional so. uh, elimination mode is in. Uh, yeah. So what else is in the game? We've got so we've got capture the flag, king of the hill, battle mode. Uh, I don't know all the other modes that are in the game, alas, because uh, it really depended on the, uh, the rotation in terms of what we were playing online. But, uh, yeah, there are a couple of other modes now. I can't actually remember mm. off the top of my head, but. Uh, the release date does concern me a little bit. Uh, June 23. It seems to be in this sort of uh, crazy month of June. We've got a number of yeah. quite big titles coming out. I mean, we've got about four yeah. titles, uh, you yeah. know, medium to big size titles coming out. So it's going to be sort of squashed in the middle of all that. And E3 as well. It's, yeah. it's, 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 not, it's not a great release slot for them. Uh, you no, know, they're not. coming right after several. I mean, it's one of those situations where you say, say, why don't you guys release it in July? There's not a single racing game out in July. And it's yeah. because apparently a lot of people go on holiday in Europe. They don't yeah. like to launch games at that time. And I say that's exactly why you need to launch then, because <laughs> kids are on holiday. What are they doing at home? They want a new game to play. Uh, so I, I think it would be ideal for a summer holiday, so this game. And, and that's why it's been released when it is. But it's just being released, you know, even mm. just a couple of weeks or two weeks too soon. I, I think yeah. a couple of weeks. It even That's has like space. a summer vibe, doesn't it? A very bright mm. and colourful, vibrant environments. It really does sort of scream summer game, doesn't it? One that you pick up and play with friends uh, while you're off from your school holidays, you know. So it's, it is a bit surprising, I guess. But, you know, just one or two weeks later, and it could do a lot better mm. in terms of sales. But it's just unfortunate that it's coming out... Uh, yeah, in a month. very competitive um, month, isn't it? I know yeah. there's so many racing games coming out at the moment, and we'll, you know, we'll have stacks of content coming up on, on all those titles, but... Uh, this, so I'm looking forward to this four player racing you guys uh, and, and us having some online matches as well. Uh, seeing who's the best of uh, Micro Machines. It's going to be very. Oh, look, you can see how I was following the guy in front. I just <laughs> followed him straight. There's a lot of that that goes on. You can see, I'm. by the way, I'm nearly winning here now. You've turned uh, it around, I'll tell you that. I've turned it around and I'm in second place here. And, I'm try and that's it. Ah, oh, oh, taking yeah, that yeah. guy out. Not quite, not quite. That's it. That is it. No, I've done it there now. That was That's the last it, one. Yeah. So nice. It got quite close there. I have to admit, that was quite a heated battle between all of us. After that, we went on to the land setup to test out some of the various sort of battle modes and stuff. Fortunately, my play is not very good in this video because I didn't know the map of what yeah. I was doing. You can uh, see I, just how serious the faces are now, you know. The we, occasional we got, smile, but it all looks pretty serious. Oh, it was, it was, everyone, there was concentration. <laughs> everyone wanted to win this. So we were in two teams. So this here is Capture the Flag you're looking at here. Uh, and I, I at this point, I didn't quite know. I did learn after this, after I stopped recording, typically uh, the map and where to go. Uh, yeah. So this was good. I managed to capture a flag, which was nice. Uh, and there's also King of the Hill, which we'll look at shortly as well. That weapon just destroying me there. I'm like, how do you do that? Just yeah, I've got to so say, these fair. environments look yeah. pretty uh, expansive, don't they? There's lots lots of uh, different routes, lots of elevation. Looks like it could get yeah. confusing unless you have sort of track knowledge. 
Yeah, I mean, we could see that this, is that the flag there? We're trying to return the flag there. Um, but either way, yeah, I mean, uh, uh, you know, they're pretty big maps. You know, it's, it's going to be interesting to see when you get experts online, what kind of strategies they use for jumping about the map and teleporting and stuff like that. Uh, wow. It's, it's, it's all about finding your various different routes. Uh, how you teleport to the other side and jump. The longer it goes on, the more expensive the map actually is. It's uh, it's quite yeah. a strange uh, creation, isn't it? It's something. It's a definite departure for the series. And uh, yeah, you can see on the uh, yeah, we can see the tank there. It's got the flag. He's trying to run away with it now, being shot at by somebody. And, and I presume that's the a teleporter. Is it? Oh yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, and he's been knocked off, and that's it. Oh. Um, so yeah, I mean, it was. Um, it was pretty competitive, but you had to learn the map first, and then then you really get the hang of it. Then we moved on to a King of the Hill, as well. Just a quick bit of this, and again, this was good fun. The developer there's telling me a bit more about how to play it, uh, because it, the learning curve was actually relatively steep for this. Mm, yeah, because until you tested every car and every weapon, you really don't know what weapons and cars suit you. Here we are on the uh, hungry hippos. <laughs> it's quite funny whenever whenever anyone walked in the room they're like hey it's hungry hippos and uh it must be the biggest brand in the world so there we are you can see the castle the outline of the castle there on my screen just on the, the side there just um uh you know just uh, i assume you can get eaten up by the hippos if you get too close is that right I mean, well they don't eat you they, they they sort of trap you a second but i don't think there's any they don't do any necessarily any damage as far as i'm aware but i've no idea I, they look dangerous and they, they look do. big got to stay away from <laughs> i was just trying to knock the little balls out of the way and just just try and stay in the area i think i was trying to shoot somebody as well there and we're all shooting each other and i get blown up so no um so overall then uh micro machines v3 we've had a little uh, sorry micro machines world series we've had a good ramble about it today i've certainly enjoyed it uh we've got mr teddy sitting in the background randomly there enjoying it as well uh, and then we, and that's it kevin your your impressions kevin so far uh yeah it looks a lot of fun it looks like the game has come along at the right time you know looking forward to it and uh you know it could have very good online uh, multiplayer well certainly so far I've, I've enjoyed it i think everyone who turned up uh, had a lot of fun on it and um that's it from me for now there'll be more from us very soon <laughs>